I don't expect that you guys have it, you know, when uh, had it when you were kids, but but the thing about guidance class is it's a it's a class that everybody hypes up for no reason, like whatsoever. Like it's like, yo, Marcus, we're going to guidance class today. Isn't that great? And then whenever you get there, the the guidance counselor he's talking about, you know, preparing for the future and organizing your life, and you're like, oh man. Why, do, why did I look forward to this? This is not fun at all. Uh, one, one time I was I was walking to guidance class with my friend Ben. I'm like, hey, are we going to the computer lab? He's like, yeah. So we walk in, we start talking about random crap. Uh, we sit down and the teacher walks in and she's like, okay, here's what we're doing today. Uh, we're gonna go on this website and you know, all, all that. And it clicks in my mind. I don't have a female teacher. And I look around, these aren't my classmates. And I look at Ben, Ben's not my guidance class. <laughs> so I just followed him in to a random classroom and he looks at me and he, he just gives me that face like, we both know what's up. So I'm like, ah. Oh. And so I, I stand up and I walk over to the teacher now, I thought through this a little bit as I walked over. I didn't want to go over and declare it. I didn't want to be like, excuse me? I'm not where I ought to be? Good day! And just leave. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. But I also didn't want to just go over and be like, so I was walking with my friends there and nobody knows who the hell I am. I can't remember. I thought I was going to but I wasn't. Okay, bye. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so uh, what I decided on doing was I walked over and I whispered very loudly for the entire class to hear, I'm in the wrong class. <laughs> I'm going to leave now. <laughs> and I just power walked out. <laughs> so, uh, the thing was, I didn't even take a pass. Like, I have this weird reputation at my school where uh, it's like, oh, he's a kid who works in the TV studio. He doesn't need a pass to go places. He can do whatever he wants. You know, so, uh, you know, I, I never really paid attention to this, like, unspoken perk before, but one day it came in handy. Uh, I was at a sports assembly uh, a few weeks ago, and you know I don't know if you guys can notice it by my physique and my mannerisms, but uh, I'm not exactly an athlete. You know, don't get me wrong; I'm the perfect physical specimen from the neck down. You know, uh, so uh, you know I'm like, oh man, this I I don't want to do this. Organized sports are silly. I'm a teenager; I don't want to do things. So. Uh, you know, I'm just looking around, like, looking around for an opportunity to just get out of the gymnasium. And I see, like, the band had pl just played, like, a few songs, and they were starting to walk out of, like, the gymnasium. And they all had, like, equipment with them, because, uh, I, like, I had set it up with the, the rest of stage crew, and they were all taking it out. And so, uh, I saw in the corner of the gym, there was, a, there were, like, some extra supplies. I'm like, oh, this is my chance. And so I was at the top of the, like, the bleachers, and I just, I run down the bleachers across the gymnasium. As people are presenting their sport, it's like, this is the people on my football team. And then right in the background, like, I'm running through. <laughs> and I grab, like, just random equipment, and I run over the band, and I pretend to be part of the band. I'm just walking along. And like, a, uh, the band director, he comes up to me, he's like, Arette, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm taking supplies out. He's like, you didn't need to do that, but okay. <laughs> and he just, he just let me go. So uh, at this point in my performance, uh, I talked to my editor a bit, like I read this off to him. And the way I organize all this, I have like what I call in my head bits. Like at the beginning, that was the guidance bit. And then I had the don't need passes bit, and then that transitioned into the sports assembly bit. Now, I had something which I called the appropriation bit, which, uh, you know, well, when I read it off to him, he's like, ah, oh, I, I like it, just don't have the appropriation bit in there. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's going to be surprising, and people are going to find that funny. And they're like, people don't find surprising things funny. 
that's no. that's not how it works. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, instead, I'm going to talk about uh, a while back. My dad gave me like a coupon for a free haircut, and it was it was a bit suspicious. Like uh, it was sketchy the way like <laughs> that I saw it in my mind. Like the place was called Sports Clips. You guys uh, already know that I'm not exactly an athlete, so I'm like, mm, I don't know if I want to let these people touch my hair, you know. So, so uh, you know, I went there anyway because it was a free haircut, and they gave it was like a best time. And at the end, they just like they gave me a bunch of free coupons, and they're like, well, if you get three people to use these coupons, then you get another free haircut and so on. And I'm like, okay, so what you're saying is that if I just keep doing this, I can get free haircuts for the rest of my life. <laughs> and I found out it's not that simple because when you offer people coupons for free haircuts, they react like you're offering them drugs. It's the weirdest thing. Like some people, you know, you offer them the free haircut coupon and they're like, ah, oh, thanks, man. I'll use this sometime. You know, that that's the rare like that's a rare person. Most people, they'll, they'll like they'll just kind of look at the free coupon. And they'll be like, I uh, I get my haircut somewhere else, so um, no thank you, you know. And they just they just get real nervous. But the one thing that will never happen in that comparison is that when I offer someone a coupon for a free haircut, they will never accuse me of being a cop. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I'm Red Hoffer. I actually wasn't a first timer. I'm a first timer here, but uh, this is like my fourth time doing uh, stand up. Just so you know that I have a little bit of experience. Thank you. <laughs>